Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sam, and I'll be doing the free video for Friday, October 29th, 2021. So, a very strong book week in the books here. Uh, closing especially strong, uh, all things considered. Um, if you look at today, you had Apple and Amazon that reported yesterday, and they both missed. And they guided lower, I think. Um, this morning was really interesting because if you pull up your internals and you look at the ticks, the ticks were negative all morning, the advanced decline was negative all morning, the, re the IWM was red, and the fangs, which I follow, I created my own fang index. I'm going to share this one with you. This is one that you can pull up at any, you know on any platform. I have my own that I prefer, but it looks very similar to this. And the fangs here were actually red on the day, right, because of Amazon and Apple being down 4% each. And uh, you actually ended up getting a vertical rally from these conditions, right? So you had the about three trillion dollars, maybe almost actually four trillion dollars of market cap between Apple and Amazon down four, roughly three to four percent. You had no internals. You had a red IWM, and the market managed to rally vertically and close at the highs above 4600 and make a new all-time high. That is phenomenal stuff. Now, normally in these types of videos, in these Friday videos, the free videos, I like to either show you guys kind of a, you know, a stock setup or kind of a bigger picture macro kind of like dynamic that's working working out. I feel kind of silly doing any of that, right? Because this is the market where you just as intelligently as possible, I have to preface it that way, you just kind of have to throw caution to the wind and that's what's getting paid, right? So I'm going to show you this chart and then I'm going to show you the adjustments that I'm making going into next week. So this is a chart that you can pull up on your end. I don't like it normally, right? If I did like it, I wouldn't have made my own FANG index. But for those of you that don't have a FANG index, you could just type this in. It's money sign NY FANG. And it approximates what I look at very closely. This is very similar to what I'm looking at on the one that I made myself, although the one I made myself is just a little bit better. So the reason I want to focus here is because check out this weekly squeeze right so you have this huge kind of you can call that a lot of different things right you can call this almost a giant double bottom you know kind of a one two three you can look at it like kind of a cup and handle or you could just look at it like a range right just look at it like a giant trading range with a higher low here right I think these are all accurate ways of looking at it but no matter how you slice it it's bullish Right? It's not, there's nothing bearish about this pattern, and there's nothing bearish about a fully structured weekly chart with a weekly squeeze. Right, So point number one. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means you should really focus next week, and I, or at least I'll speak for myself, I'm going to be focusing on FANG stocks next week. Right, I'm going to continue to push this because this is the best setup I see pretty much market-wide at this point especially if bonds come in next week if bond excuse me if interest rates come in so if bonds go up interest rates down that's really going to drive this chart even higher right so going into next week i'm long tesla i thought about getting some google i didn't end up adding it but i probably will regret that um, so i'll look to add some google and then i'm going to look for a third fang stock just whatever fang stock makes the most uh, sense in terms of a set a plan or a setup that fits your training plan right so I haven't done the work yet for the weekend but just offhand it may even be as crazy as it sounds it may even be Apple or even Amazon as crazy as it sounds I the point being that I do want to continue to focus on the thing stocks because as a basket they have the most dynamism right and if you look at something like arc compared to this chart like let's just do that real quick right arc has a lot of high beta tech as well but notice the difference in quality of this chart now we could argue that this charts about to break out and do something similar Right? There's definitely that argument, but I don't like the idea of playing catch up, right? I don't like the idea of playing catch up. Here's the kind of the one, two, three thing. Here's kind of the cup and handle. You can kind of see the same pattern, but notice the drastic and notable uh, quality jump that you get between these two charts, right? <clears throat> so focus on the things next week is point number one. And then point number two is you're going to have to make a decision going into next week. And I would advise that you have a game plan on Sunday going into Monday so that you know what to know what you want to do. For myself, I have to acknowledge as a professional trader, prices up here are a little bit extended, right? So 
they are quite extended um, in most things. So there's two ways to play that. Either A, and this is just my opinion, of course. Either A, you um, structure your trades in a way that is less reliant on deltas, which can be a little bit dangerous in a runaway market because the last thing you want is to call a stock to the upside. Let's say you have a butterfly and then it goes above your center strike. So if you're going to be swing trading, consider that, right? Consider just being a little bit um, conservative, if you will, with the trade strategy that you approach it with. Or B, and this is where this is the camp that I'm going to be in going into next week, uh, consider shrinking your time frame. So, for example, what does that mean? Well, here you'll notice that I use the weekly, the daily, and the 195, right? That's kind of my my uh, swing trading uh, grid, if you will. Going into next week, there's no point in you, for me using a weekly. There's frankly not even a whole lot of point in me using the daily. So what will I be doing? The big time frame for me next week, and feel free to try this out if you're, you know, if, you, if it's, uh, oops. If, uh, if day trading is kind of new to you, I'm going to use a 60, a 15, and a 5. And this weekend, I'm going to be looking for 60 minute or hourly squeezes. I'm going to trade those hourly squeezes like they're the daily chart. I'm going to trade the 15 minute chart like it's the hourly, and I'm going to trade the 5 like it's the 15. And I think that's a good adjustment going into next week because things are wildly bullish, but they are also wildly extended, right? And in order to square that circle, you have to make an adjustment to your trading plan. And I think this is the best adjustment personally that I could make. Now, if you're not a day trader, if that just, you know, that's just not a tool set you have, one, maybe consider it. Uh, consider, you know, building up your, your skill set there. Or two, if you're just a dedicated swing trader, just adjust your trade strategies in a way that will play better with a pullback to whatever 8 or 21 EMA of the stock that you're trading, right? Because the last thing that you want is to chase a stock up, you know, 10 ATR, and then it pulls back just a normal pullback to like the 8 EMA, which is still aggressive, and that kind of kneecaps your trade, right? So the way that I think is best to play it is just like I just showed you here, trade the hourly like it's the daily, trade the uh, trade the 15 minute like it's the hourly, and trade the 5 minute like it's the 15. And uh, until we get a pullback to more reasonable levels for actual swing trades, this is going to be the approach that I'm going to be taking. And frankly, I think it's a really good one. So consider that going into next week. Uh, aside from that, guys, I hope you had a good week. Um, stay safe next week. Remember, it is a, there is a Fed announcement, although I think a lot of it's been priced in. So continuation makes sense. And, uh, and we'll catch up next Friday and see how uh, the Fed taper announcement has uh, treated the markets. All right, guys. Catch you next week. Cheers. Hey, guys. This is Sam, and I'm the Director of Equities at Simpler Trading. I want to thank you for watching this video. And before you go somewhere else on the YouTube, I'd like to ask that you comment and like the video. It really does help us out with the algorithm and getting the message out to more folks who like to see our content. Also, be sure to click the bell notification and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss anything that comes out. If you want to watch us trade in real time using our own money, come over to simplertrading.com and learn how to sign up. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you for the next video. Cheers.